The morning was silent when you came into the office. As usual, you sat at your desk and started to review some documents for the next meeting. It's your everyday routine as Jungkook's secretary, the most infamous mafia boss. But you are more than just a secretary. In the dangerous world of mafia bosses and constant battles of power, you work closely with John Jungkook, helping him with everything. You don't just schedule meetings. You make important decisions, handle tough deals, and even go on missions to protect him and the business. You came from a mafia family too, trained from a young age to survive in this world. But unlike many others who only cared about power, you found yourself falling in love with Jungkook, the strong and mysterious leader of the John Mafia. Every morning you arrive at his grand office, which is in a tall, fancy building. You take care of everything, planning his day, making sure all the deals go well, and sometimes doing dangerous jobs like gathering secret information or taking down threats. Even though you are strong and skilled, Jungkook is always the one in charge. He stays cold and serious, never showing his feelings and keep his emotions hidden behind a tough stone-like expression. Suddenly you heard the familiar sound of the door opening. Jungkook stepped in, his presence always commanding, even though he didn't say a word at first. He was dressed in his usual dark suit, hair neatly styled. He moved with purpose, heading straight to his desk without looking at you. You straightened up feeling your heart skipping a beat. Good morning. You said with a smile and when Jungkook looked at you, he lowered his eyes, focusing on the paper in front of him before giving a nod. Good morning. What's on the schedule today? You picked up the planner from your desk and began reading off the task. You have a meeting with the heads of the family at 10, followed by a negotiation with the Lee Syndicate at 1. Also have scheduled a security briefing in the afternoon. Jungkook stood by the window staring outside. Cancel the security briefing. I'll be handling that myself. He said in a low voice while you hesitated for a moment. Are you sure? I can take care of it if you're too busy. He turned slightly just enough to glance at you. No need. I want to keep things close. You bit your lip, feeling the distance between you grow even though you were right there in the same room. Every day you were by his side, doing everything you could to help him, but no matter how much you tried to get close, he always kept you at arm's length. Is there anything else I can do for you, boss? You asked. There was a hidden pain in your voice, hoping for just a little more from him. Jungkook looked away, his eyes cold again. No, that's all. You felt familiar pain of rejection in your chest. No matter how much you try, you never get a chance to tell him your true feelings for him. Neither he try to notice. He always tried to push you away. I'll be in the meeting room if you need me. You said turning back to your work with a heavy heart. Jungkook's eyes softened as soon as he heard the door closed. He swallowed as he turned back. He knows about your feelings and he hates to behave like... He doesn't care, but it's not easy. The reason why he kept a distance from you is because of a painful past between your families. Years ago, your father, a powerful mafia leader, was involved in an incident that led to the death of his older brother. This tragedy shattered Jungkook's family, forcing him to take over as head of the family at a young age. Though he never blamed you directly, the thought of getting close to the daughter of the man responsible for his brother's death felt like a betrayal to his family. You had no idea that your father was behind the tragedy. When he started working for Jungkook as his secretary, it was because you wanted to help him and prove your own worth in the mafia world. You admired his strength and leadership and slowly fell in love with him. However, despite your loyalty and devotion, Jungkook always kept his emotions hidden, avoiding any personal connection with you. He believed that being with you would not only dishonor his brother's memory but also stir up old wounds between the families, possibly leading to more bloodshed. To protect both of you, he pushed you away, pretending not to notice your feelings. You walk into the meeting room and the silence made it feel even bigger. 
you had just come from Jungkook's office where, like always, he barely looked up from his work when you talked to him. His answers were short, his attention on the papers in front of him, not on you. You sat down at the table letting out a small sigh. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep hoping for something more? You have been by his side for a long time, handling everything for him. You have tried to show him how much you care in little ways, making sure every meeting goes well, watching out for him, staying late when he needs you. But no matter what you do, Jungkook never seems to notice. He doesn't show any sign that he feels the same way. Maybe he just doesn't care or maybe he's too focused on work to see me. You try to accept this with a very heavy heart. You love him, even though you know you probably shouldn't. Jungkook is strong, smart and always in control. He's tough on the outside but you have seen hints of the real him. Kindness he hides from everyone else. You have seen moments when his cold mask slip and that's the man you love. But those moments are rare. And most of the time he keeps his walls up. You try to tell yourself that it's fine, that you can just focus on your job and not think about it. But it's hard. Every time you see him, you remember why you love him. His strength, his leadership and the way he quietly protects those he cares about. He knows there's more to him than what he shows the world. You're not even sure if he knows what you feel for him and the thought hurts. You have risked everything for him, stood by his side through the toughest times but now, sitting alone in the meeting room, you feel more distance from him than ever. You lean back closing your eyes for a second. I don't know how much longer I can keep pretending this doesn't hurt, but I can't stop caring. I have to believe that one day he'll see me, not just as his secretary but as someone who really loves him. The evening you were called into a meeting with the higher ranking members of the John Mafia, Jungkook was about to engage in a dangerous mission, one that involves his biggest rival, the Lee family, a rival syndicate threatening to overthrow Jungkook's position. The information gathered by our sources pointed to a trap being laid during an upcoming exchange. You sat across the table from him watching as he discussed the details of the upcoming mission. We have intel that Lee Syndicate is planning something big. We can't afford to be caught off guard. He said lifting his eyes to look at you and he could notice the fear on your face. You looked at him. We should send a team ahead to scout the area. It's too risky for you to go alone. Jungkook shook his head. No, I'll go myself. I trust my instincts more than anyone else. You know he won't listen to you or anyone, but this mission was too risky, you can't let him go alone. But it's dangerous, let me come with you. His eyes flickered to yours, but he remained firm. I don't need you there, stay behind and keep things under control here. Clenched your fist under the table as frustration boiled inside you. He was pushing you away again, like he always did. Jungkook, I, that's an order, he cut you off sharply. Jungkook knew you won't listen that easily but he doesn't want to risk your life. He's too weak when it comes to you and no matter what happens between your families but he can never put your life in danger. You bit your tongue forcing yourself to not understand. You were pacing back and forth in Jungkook's office, your mind and heart wasn't at peace. All you could think about is Jungkook who already left for the mission with some of his best men but you couldn't stop worrying about him. Your gut tells you that something is off. The clock ticks loudly and each second was stretching into eternity. You can't shake the sense of dread that has settled over you. Finally you stood up. I can't just sit here and wait. I need to follow him. You grabbed your jacket and went outside the office without a second thought. You know he might not want you there, but you can't shake the worry that gnaws at your insides. As you sneak out of the building, you keep your eyes peeled from any sign of where he might have gone. You search for him in the usual spots, the warehouse, the docks, but it seemed like he's been clever, taking extra precautions 
He knows you would worry and he was trying to protect you when you realized that frustration built inside you. You can try to avoid me as much as you can but I know what you feel from inside. Your eyes can't lie. You were talking to yourself while trying to place the pieces together. Where can he possibly go? Jungkook prepared his gun and looked at his man who was ready for his order before attacking the rival gang. It was a secret mission they plotted before the rival gang got successful in their plan. We'll strike hard and fast, no mistakes. We can't afford to lose this chance to remember the plan. We go in, hit them hard and take out anyone who comes in our way. They all nodded holding their guns tightly. Move. The war begins and the rival gang was already prepared. This plan backfired but Jungkook and his men were trained enough to not let them take the lead. Jungkook can never let anything happen to his family. He knocked all the men who comes in his way but his thoughts drift to you, how you always seem to see through his tough exterior. I can't let her get hurt, that's why I left her behind, he thought in his mind. The rival gang was not weak. In fact, soon they took the upper hand and some of Jungkook's men were injured. This was a tough war and Jungkook knew it was hard to get away from here. Just then a car came inside with full speed breaking a wall. Jungkook. You aimed a gun and shot the person who was about to attack Jungkook from back. His eyes widened when he saw you. Yen, what are you doing here? I told you to stay away. This is dangerous. You quickly ran to him. I'm here to help. You can't do this alone. Without waiting for his response, you dive into the fight, taking down a rival with a swift kick. You're insane, get back in the car, he said through gritted teeth while he looked at him. I'm not going and I'm not leaving you alone. Without waiting for his response, you started fighting back to back, dodging down attackers. Jungkook soon joined in as you both started knocking off the rivals one by one. Coordination was commandable and Jungkook would never be more impressed by your moves. You were well trained and smart. Finally, the silence fell down as you knocked off all the rivals. Jungkook looked at you. He was breathing heavily and so did you. Your chest was moving up and down as you tried to catch your breath. I can't believe you followed me. You could have been killed. You think I would let you have all the fun? He said with a smile and Jungkook's lips curled up into a smile for the first time. He couldn't deny it anymore, couldn't run away from his feelings. Whatever happened in the past can never be forgotten but you both were innocent and you both deserve your happiness and there's no doubt that your happiness is with each other. Your heart skipped a beat and you couldn't believe he was smiling, but then suddenly a shout echoed from behind and an enemy got up holding a gun before firing straight at Jungkook. This is for my brothers. Your eyes widened. Jungkook, watch out. In an instant, you pushed Jungkook aside but the gun hit your side. You stumbled back and Jungkook caught you before you fell in his arms. He shot the man with a gun before looking at you. Fear surrounded him as he panicked. Why? No. Why did you do that? You looked at him as tears filled in your eyes. The pain was too much that you couldn't speak properly. You pressed your hand against the wound. Blood was seeping between your fingers, but it was as if the world around you were fading into a distant blur. Jungkook, I couldn't let you get hurt. You somehow managed to speak and could feel your strength vanishing away. Jungkook's eyes filled with tears. He was afraid to lose you and he doesn't want to lose you. You're, you're going to be okay. Just stay with me. I won't let anything happen to you. Trust me. 
His grip on you tightened as if holding you too tightly could somehow keep you from slipping away. You managed to flash a smile at him. Jungkook, you have no idea how much I have waited to tell you this. I don't know if you could see this or not but I love you and I'll help Billy die in your arms. Don't say that. You can't leave me. Not like this. His hands trembled as he brushed your hair back from your face. His whole body was trembling. Please don't close your eyes. Just keep looking at me, okay? I need you to fight. I can't lose you. I can't. I love you. I always have. Tears streamed down Jungkook's face and for the first time you saw the walls around his heart begin to crumble. I love you too. Please don't leave me. Not now, not ever. He picked you up in his arms and quickly ran towards the car. His man opened the door while you already fell unconscious in his arms. They quickly rushed to the hospital. Jungu was pacing back and forth anxiously outside the emergency room. His heart was pounding in his chest and the fear was gripping him. The doctor had rushed you in. and now all he could do is to wait helpless and terrified he was blaming himself the fear of losing you was more than he imagined he ran his fingers through his head as each second felt like an eternity he thought back to the moment you pushed him aside your courage your love the way you had put yourself in harm's way up for him jungkook a voice interrupted his thoughts and he turned to see his friend and jin rushing towards him any news Jungkook was panicking. Jin shook his head. They are still working on her. The doctor said they let us know soon. Just hang in there, okay? Jungkook nodded but felt like his heart sank deeper. I should have been there for her. I should have protected her. His words cracked with frustration and guilt. Jin put a hand on his shoulder. She made her choice, and you know why. She loves you. She wanted to protect you. Jungkook looked at him and the pain and guilt was visible in his eyes. He had been too afraid to confront. He had always kept his distance, fearing what would happen if he let anyone in, especially you, but now he realized that pushing you away had only led to this moment. Finally, a doctor came out looking very tired with his clothes stained with blood. Jungkook hurried towards him. His face full of worry. Is she okay? Is she going to be all right? His voice was shaking. The doctor took a deep breath and looked at his clipboard. She lost a lot of blood, but we managed to help her. She's in recovery now, but she needs time to heal. You can see her soon, but she might be confused when she wakes up. Jungkook felt a wave of relief, but there was still fear in his heart. Can I stay with her? He asked quietly. Yes, but don't overwhelm her when she wakes up. She needs to rest. The doctor said kindly. Jungkook nodded, feeling thankful but still worried. He followed the doctor through the quiet, clean hallway to your room. His heart was beating fast, thinking about finally seeing you again and being able to say all the things he had been too afraid to say before. Jungkook walked into your hospital room and saw you lying there. looking weak and pale the machines were beeping softly keeping track of your heartbeat his heart hurt seeing you like this knowing you were hurt because of him he sat down next to your bed and gently held your hand your fingers felt cold so he wrapped his hands around you why please me wake up i need you he whispered while his voice was breaking as time passed he kept talking to you saying things he had never said before i didn't want to let you in i was scared of what i felt for you but now i see that You are the one who makes everything make sense. You are my heart, and I can't lose you. He let his tears fall freely. You were so brave, but you didn't have to be. I should have protected you. I should have been the one to keep you safe, not the other way around. Jungkook squeezed your hand, hoping for any sign that you were okay. Please, Wangyan, fight for us. I need you to come back. I promise I'll protect you from now on. I'll never push you away again. After what felt like forever, he felt your fingers move just a little. His heart leaped with hope. "Why, can you hear me?" he asked, leaning closer. Your eyes slowly opened, and you looked at him, confused and in pain. "Jungkook, 
You whispered your voice was soft and weak. Yes, I'm here. I'm right here. He said feeling so happy just to hear you speak. You blinked a few times trying to remember. What happened? You asked and your face was showing the pain you felt. You got hurt saving me, but you're going to be okay now. Just rest. I'm not leaving your side. You gave him a small tired smile. I thought I lost you. You can't lose me, not now, not ever. I love you, Wayne. I should have told you before, but I was scared. I won't be scared anymore. You looked at him surprised and your heart swollen with emotions. It really hurt me when you pushed me away. I thought you don't see my love. I thought you never noticed. He kissed your hand keeping it close to his chest. I noticed everything. I saw you every day, every moment. You were the light I didn't think I deserved to have. You blinked trying to make sense of his words. Then why did you push me away? Why did you act like I didn't matter? Jungkook sighed deeply, closing his eyes for a moment as if gathering the strength to finally reveal the truth. I had to keep you at a distance because of my past, because of my brother. Your heart skipped a beat, sensing that this is the moment you have been waiting for, the truth he's been hiding. Your brother? He nodded and you see a deep pain in his eyes. Your father, he was involved in my brother's death. He took a breath, eyes searching yours for understanding. At first I didn't know, I didn't connect it. But when I found out, everything changed. I couldn't get close to you knowing that it felt like betrayal to my brother's memory, like I was choosing you over him. Your heart dropped. You remember your father's secrets, his dealing in the past, but you never imagined it would be tied to something so personal. So painful for Jungkook, tears started to blur your vision. But I never blamed you. I tried to tell myself I didn't love you, that it would be easier that way. But the truth is, I love you more than anything, Wayan. I was just too scared to admit it. Scared that if I loved you, I would lose you too. Why didn't you tell me this before? Why did you keep it a secret? He looked at you, because I never wanted you to blame yourself for something you have no connection with. I was afraid of family dispute, of accepting someone from a family that destroyed everything in my family. But I've realized that I'm too weak to control my heart. Not after what you have done today for me. I'm so sorry Jungkook, sorry for everything that you have been through because of my father. I never knew. He shook his head, you don't have to say sorry. You are innocent as much as I am. I just couldn't bring myself to accept that I love you. I was afraid but not anymore. I'm sorry for hurting you. But now, I'll never ignore you. Tears fell from your eyes. He hugged you. I'll be always by your side and love you forever. That's my promise. You closed your eyes feeling your heart swelling with emotions.